What's going on guys, Jerry another video. Today guys I'm going through and breaking down how to play my uh, Scareclaw Live Twins uh, from the deck profile I posted yesterday. Uh, so we're going to go through and watch a replay showing how to play the deck. So really how the deck works guys is you just really need one of the Live Twins. You normally summon the uh, one of them that's with the extender. It's basically the blue one or the red one. Uh, and you bring another one of them out like we did here. And you use any of the V-Reigns to go this. This is basically the you're watching here is the full combo of the perfect inboard with the deck. So you're not going to hit this inboard probably every time, but I did change a few things since I did uh, did this replay here uh, to try and make this more consistent where you could go into this inboard more consistently. But we're going to end on Try Heart and we end on Trouble Sunny. So this is the perfect combo. This is what you're really aiming for to end with the deck on, right? Is Try Heart in the extra monster zone, Trouble Sunny, I would, Trouble Sunny needs to be where I have her here in the far left if you do get her out, right? Because remember, your, your Scareclaw monsters have to special summon adjacent, so this way make sure you have the maximum zones for the Scareclaw. So if we wanted to play, you know, special summon another three Scareclaw and field, we, we have the ability to do that. So just make sure you guys keep that in mind. Uh, and plus, right, we can send her during his turn if we want to. to uh, Trouble Sunny to the graveyard to go through and, you know, pop a bunch of stuff on our opponent's turn if we wanted to. Uh, I'm just playing against the bottom of this one, so it's easier to uh, show off the deck. You can see how very easy for us to trigger Rich Heart, go through that, and then Try Heart. But this is how you play the deck, guys. Essentially, this is what, as far as how to play the deck full uh, full combo. This is the, the type of boards that you're looking to end on. We'll go ahead and go into the next video of me playing the, the deck itself. Alrighty guys, this is going to be the mirror match that I was talking about yesterday. We're just playing, uh, well, it's kind of a mirror match. It's the live twin sprite is what we're going to be playing in this matchup with our uh, Scare Call uh, live twins for the deck profile post. Just so you guys can see a full uh, duel with it against a you know very competitive deck. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, make sure you put them down below. I'll try and go through and break down my plays. Because that's usually most of your guys' comments why I'm making certain plays, at least in the comments. So I'll try and go through and explain what I'm doing. So we've got a pretty solid hand. Alright, we do the field spell. So we're going to go to obviously Dark Ruler for obvious reasons, right? Because we've already know he's got a, some, basically a good bit of interruptions. So he negated the field spell, which was lucky for him. By removing it from play, so we couldn't get the extra scare claw in hand. Uh, I don't know why the game does that. Sometimes it'll click over there. That's why that didn't go through, but it ended up, ends up not mattering because he infirmed us anyway. So, all right, so we'll pass it back to them. So they're going to essentially go through and you know try and you know combo as much as they can. So luckily for them, they are playing Link, so they have a chance to get rid of uh, Tryhard. Here's where they always go through everyone, because like I said, they don't know what they do. So they, he goes in and triggers uh, red here to try and negate it, so that allows us to play Talents. So now we're going to be able to draw two cards here in just a second. Tries to pop him. We go ahead and move it from play the other arrival. So we plus two here. So we just go ahead and overextend, bringing them out, doing this to pump it up and just go straight for game. I don't know why he went for that, but I guess just to say he went for it. Ah, uh, the second one, if I recall right. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. If you guys have any chance to check out our new deck giveaway series, make sure you consider checking that out. Uh, also, let me know what decks you would like to see uh, that are uh, October themed or Halloween themed, if that makes sense. Uh, that's me. You guys mentioned a few like uh, spiders and obviously like zombies stuff like that. Uh, if there's anything else you guys can think of, let me know, and that's what we'll start doing next week. And I'll start posting profiles. I'll do a few more Scareclaw videos this week for us to wrap up uh, Scareclaw week, and then we'll move on to posting regular deck profiles like normal. Just they'll be Halloween themed for the rest of the month. So we went into the V range there, right, to make sure we could uh, make sure that went through and he didn't negate it, or he would bait out the negate with the V range because he could negated it. 
So, so you got to make sure you keep stuff like that in mind with the cards in your hand, guys. Wh which one do you really need to resolve the most? Uh, and then pl play the opposite card so they have a chance of negating it. But it's got to be something worth them negating. If not, they're not going to negate it. All right, here's where I go for Tryheart. Get rid of that. And that's where we turned the tide. He was doing really good against us, and we had that one going. If I were to cry, I don't think he does anything else for us to the, the matchup. I think we pretty much just have it from here. Because that's usually the best thing with, like, with Sprite. You have to stop them, their turn one board. Once you get rid of their turn one board, regardless of what version they're playing, after that, the deck is... Much watered down. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, but that, that's just how the deck is. That's just how the deck plays. Even with this live twin version, he has a little bit better because it's good backup and he can use them as extenders and pop and you know have trouble sunny and stuff like that. But I don't think he, he's playing trouble sunny uh, and the deck, which is which I, I kind of get because he can he locks himself into twos. But there's certain times you wouldn't lock yourself into twos that you wouldn't need her. For potentially game, so I don't know why he wouldn't run one trouble sunny. Uh, maybe he didn't just misplay. Uh, is what happened. So I go IP here just to make sure he doesn't do any other crazy pops, because that's all he's been doing is pop, 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 pop. Uh, so we just normal summon. So I made I did that just to make sure we win this one, because I didn't want to lose just because he was popping our boss monster. So that's when we went IP, and then we're gonna go game for here again. And that's why you play the straddle, guys, because the straddle makes sure that you have game for moves like that. I don't want to give him another turn. I don't think he had anything left anyway. He only had four cards left in extra deck, even if we didn't finish him here because of that. All right, we still would have got the two attacks, get rid of uh, uh, get rid of the one we were already attacking, the twin Lalilla, and then we would have got rid of this, the gigantic sprite. We would have left blue. I would have left blue on the field. So you only would have had blue for turn, two cards in hand, and draw for turn. And four cards left in extra decks. So there would have been really nothing left pretty much he could have done. Because most of his stuff is in the graveyard. So he has like one blue. Yeah, he has one blue left in deck. Probably what? One jet probably left in deck. Uh, and that's probably it. rest of his cards probably left in... Most, probably most of his cards left in his deck are probably all hand traps, to be honest. So... Because that deck tends to play a lot of hand traps. So, uh, but that'll do it for this one, guys. Let me know if this helped uh, make sense of how to play the deck. I know it's more of a confusing version, but hopefully this tool will be breaking things down uh, and seeing how the deck works uh, makes sense. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out my website, consider checking that out. I appreciate everyone that's purchased from it. We've had a few per people that uh, purchased a few things in there, so I appreciate that, guys. Uh, but that'll do it for this one. I appreciate your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one.